Hello, let's try science. Today we're going to revisit the morning glory. We talked about the morning glory when we were discussing tendrils. It's a vining flower where the blooms happen generally in the morning because that's the coolest time of the day and then they close in the evening. You can see the various stages. These are some of the dried up morning glory flowers. But today we're going to talk about seeding of a flowered plant. It's very interesting to see this process take place. So I'm going to first show you the flower. Then you can see where the flower is drying up. See how they're drying up? And then the next thing that is going to occur is quite fascinating. It almost appears, see, let me see if I can clarify that, to get a fruit. Do you see that? That is the beginning stages of the seeding process. It is not finished. Then if you go over here, you'll see that dried up seeding pod. I'm gonna to try to grab one so that we can analyze it. So here's that seeding pod. You see how dry it is? Different color. Green, not ready. You cannot get the seeds from that yet. And over here, it is ready to take a look at the seeds. So let's look, get a little information from the internet here. You can read that. So if you look at the morning glory vines and you find the dead flowers that are ready to drop off, the blooms will leave a small round pod behind at the end of the stem. So flower, just closed, drying up, almost ready to fall off. So this one, if I can do it without a breaking, see it's almost ready to fall off, but what's replacing it is one of these seed pods. See the seed pods? Okay. Once these pods are hard and brown, like this one. Sorry, focus it for you there. You can crack it open. If you find a number of small black seeds, you seeds of the morning glories, you're ready to harvest. So let's take a look. Let's see if we're ready to harvest. Crack it open. And there you go. Look at that. Nature at its finest. So these, some plants, you need to take the seed and lay it out and dry it, such as an apple seed or a apricot or um, even an avocado uh, but a lot of flowers that is not the case they actually seed so when their pot is dry this seed is ready to be planted it's ready to go so if we get in close that's actually a seed right there and that's why a lot of times when you see morning glory you're going to see a new random one somewhere else um, same thing is true with hollyhock because the seeds will just drop and then you can start to get another uh, plant. So we were talking about the morning glory, but just real quickly, let's head on over here to the hollyhock. I don't have any blooming right now. You can see another morning glory. There's a dried up hollyhock. But if you look at the hollyhock plant, there it is again. There's that seed pod. You take it off, open it up. There's all of those seeds inside that you can that'll plant back and create new plants. Right next door we have a daisy. Again, I don't have any blooming daisies right now, but there's the seeds from the seed pod. So many, many flowering plants will create their seed pods that are ready to be planted right away once they have dried up. So go outside, look at your flowering plants and look for those seed pods. Nature's amazing. Go out, try science.